I don't pretend. I've never been that person. I'm gonna say what I feel. I'm gonna say what I mean. Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Francine. This channel is about faith, self-improvement, lifestyle, fashion, beauty, vlogs. I mean, you name it. I'm a girl's girl and here is pretty much where you can get a good dose of everything. So if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like the video and don't forget to leave me a comment below and share this video if you care. This video is a little bit impromptu and I'm sorry if you're hearing an echo. So I hope that the audio translates well into the video. I'm gonna be very brief with you and this video is very much impromptu. And a lot of times I make videos like this only because I feel like the Holy Spirit downloads things in my spirit, in my heart, and then I'm like, I need to say it, you know? And I took some notes because I woke up at 6.30 in the morning and it was, it just hit me like a ton of bricks. Hit me like a ton of bricks and I'm like, Okay, let me, let me, let me just be obedient and get this video in and out the way. How to build self-confidence and show up as your authentic self. My daughter always says to me, mom, you are so confident. You know, she always says, you're so confident. I want to be confident like you. I always respond to her saying, thank you so much for that. But understand that this didn't come overnight. Like I literally wasn't always this person. I wasn't always this confident woman that walks so boldly and tall in a room and I don't cower down and I I show up as my authentic self and I am me and I'm confident in me. I wasn't always that girl. You know, I struggled as a young girl with not fitting in, not belonging, feeling less than and I tried to accommodate everybody because I didn't feel like I belonged so I felt like you know, well, this person wants to be my friend, that person wants to be my friend. Okay, I can accommodate all you guys, but that actually turned out to work against me because what I learned, quickly learned, is that I just, I, God created me with a lot of gifts. And some I learned, I've actually discovered in my later years, in my adult years, but I was not created to fit in. And as this may sound cliche, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I was born to stand out. And I'm sure a lot of people will say, yeah, me too. But I believe and know in my heart that God created me to stand out, to be an individual, to be a light that illuminates every single room that she walks in. Everywhere that I walk, everywhere I go, I need people to remember that I was there. I need to leave an impact. I need to let people know, people need to know that Francine was here and Francine made a difference. For me, it's about leaving the world a better place than I came into it. I feel that we all have a responsibility to be impactful on earth. I don't feel that we were or just here just because there's a purpose for everyone's life. Some people's calling and responsibilities may be a little bit greater than others, but I feel we all have a calling. And I feel that I have these gifts, these gifts that the Lord wants me to use, and I discovered them later on in life. But the enemy was, the devil, the enemy, was trying to derail those things. You know, even sitting here right now and creating this video, I feel like sometimes it's hard for me to show up authentically like this because of what's going on up here. And it's not about like not feeling confident. It's just, it's the battle of the mind. And there's a lot that goes on in my mind sometimes. And if I'm not in a space where I can be true to myself and be authentic, then I'm not gonna show up because that's just me. Everything that I do is authentic. I'm an authentic person. So everything has to translate accordingly. And when I show up and I'm in a funk, you're going to see that I'm in a funk. I can't pretend. I'm not, a, I don't pretend. I've never been that person. I'm going to say what I feel. I'm going to say what I mean. And I'm going to, you're going to tell, like, I can't hide my facial expressions. It's one thing I haven't championed yet. Self-confidence first starts with knowing who you are and whose you are. And when I say who you are and whose you are, you're probably like, what does she mean? <laughs> 
You first need to see yourself the way that the creator sees you. Our Heavenly Father, the way that he created us and how he sees us is how you need to see yourself for you to start being confident in you. Do you wanna know what our creator thinks about us? He has the nicest things to say about us. When God made man on the sixth day, he looked at us and was just like, yeah, this is good. Do you understand how proud he was when he created us and looked and was like, man, I did a good thing. Let that sink in for a bit. Psalm 139, 14 says that, I will praise you because you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works. Listen, if someone looked at me and said, girl, you are fearfully and wonderfully made, do you understand? the confidence you understand the type of do you know what that does to a person's brain fearfully when translated from the hebrew means with great reverence heartfelt interest and with respect wonderfully when translated from the hebrew means unique and set apart ephesians 2 verse 10 it says for we are his workmanship created in christ jesus for good works which God prepared beforehand so that we should walk in him. It comes back to when he created us in Genesis and when he looked on us and he was like, this is good. God created us for good works. We were placed here to do good works. And somewhere along the line, you know, we got distracted from what it is that we were truly called to do and be. But I'm here to remind you of how God sees you. God does not see us the way man sees us because men look on the outward appearance. God looks at the heart. And only God can see the heart. Once we see ourselves the way God sees us, see God for the things that you lack, he will make up for it. He guarantee if you seek the Lord for the things you lack, he will make up for it. He's good for that. God, you can bank on that. You can take that to the bank. And I'm telling you that if you just seek God for the things that you need and desire, he will give it to you. So today, what I challenge you to do is to just search yourself and tap into the inner person, you know, ask yourself and boldly and showing up to the world authentically and that is how it's supposed to be showing up to the world authentically is how we should show up daily society has tarnished what is authentic and what isn't society shows us what is real and says that it's not real and shows us what is fake and tells us it's real and people believe it social media is the thing for that but we need to just tap into who God says we are, who God has called us to be. Now, I know there's a lot of people that will talk about how to build your self-confidence and how to glow up. And they talk about the exterior, getting fillers done, getting Botox, getting monthly facials, getting a makeover, losing weight get your hair done, get your beauty maintenance, and all of that is great. I am a proponent for self-care, self-love, and taking care of yourself. That's a part of showing up to the world as your best self, right? And I feel like when you look good, you feel good. But you dress up all of this and you forget about what's internal. And it's only temporary. So when you can work on what's inside first, it permeates on the exterior. So a person that doesn't have the finest of clothes, that may not have the best skin, or may, their hair may be disheveled and they may not look the best, but they have a beautiful heart, that is so much more admirable than a person that looks, has all that going on on the exterior, but your heart is so ugly. You're a selfish person. You only look out for you. There's no room for selflessness. You have a bad attitude. Your characteristics are just uh, unbecoming. I would take the person that doesn't look the part 
and has the heart than the person that looks the part but has a terrible heart. Everything we do starts from the heart. Everything we do, even when we speak, the Bible says that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. A lot of people can let you know what they're thinking about you, what they're thinking, period, based on how they speak and what they say. Take note of that. What I will remind you is that self-confidence, self-love, all of it starts from inside. It's an internal work and you have to be prepared to do the work, but you don't have to do the work on your own because you have a father, you have a savior who sees you as a fearfully and wonderfully made human being. And if you can tap into that and seek God for the things that you lack, he will make up for it. He guarantee if you seek the Lord for the things you lack, he will make up for it. He's good for that. God, you can bank on that. You can take that to the bank. And I'm telling you that if you just seek God for the things that you need and desire, he will give it to you. So today, what I challenge you to do is to just search yourself and tap into the inner person, you know, ask yourself, what can I do to build my self-confidence and how can I show up to the world authentically and as the best version of myself? Because the world needs more of that. Aside from the fact that, you know, it's good for you when you are in a place where you're healthy and you are confident and you love yourself, it is infectious. I feel it's important for us as human beings to try to be the best version of ourselves and show up to the world accordingly. So that's all I have for you guys today. I do hope that this information was well received and I do hope that if you haven't already subscribed, I hope that you will subscribe and don't forget to hit the like button and do share this video if you care. Until next time, take care, be safe, and God bless.